assured that we shall navigate safely through these turbulent times. The times call for taking full responsibility, as we always have, and ensuring that we put people and country first. In this way, we can confront our challenges, and together we will emerge stronger. My request is to conquer all racism Lord, it means so much to me We need five more years for the people Free our hearts and our minds From these mental chains Of this kid Rowley BNM was about money Power and greed And they never helped to feed No one's who in need of a helping hand But come on, have Just be aware the rising sun will be in the air The trumpet and 
After the hour of uh, six o'clock, a pleasant good evening to you, Barry Garcia. Good evening to Trinidad and Tobago. Glad you good evening. Good evening to the fans of 91.9. Oh what a day! What a day! Plenty rain in Dongdong, Border Spin. Eh? Ah, boy. Washing out the Border Spin of sin. Yeah. Yeah, getting yeah. ready. Cleaning up the city of sin. Yeah. You know, Barry. I want to touch in continuation of um, when we left off uh, this afternoon. The area of trust. And you know why I speak about trust, eh? When you leave uh, a child in the care of someone there's an expectation there's an expectation oh, was, you know I was to play something before I started on. let me play that before I start I have been 
been in public life since 1980 on a PLN platform. I have been in Parliament since January 1987. I've fallen in love with a lot of girls. I knew since I used to do school, and to tell you the truth, I always, I always used to like it since I went to school. But that is just, it used to be a secret something. If you conform to the political arena, come with clean hands. And once you are in the political arena, you are available to be questioned by every citizen of Trinidad and Tobago because you are managing their affairs. I have been in public life since 1980 on a parent platform. I have been in parliament since January 1987. I've fallen in love with a lot of girls. I knew since I used to go to school, and to tell you the truth, I always, I always used to like it since I went to school, but that is just, it used to be a secret something. If you conform to the political arena, come with clean hands. And once you are in the political arena, you are available to be questioned by every citizen of Trinidad and Tobago because you are managing their affairs. Twenty-three minutes, twenty-three minutes after the hour six o'clock. Yes, Barry. Let me come back to what we were discussing. You know, we were talking about the issue of um, trust, right? Yeah, trust. When a student is placed in the care of a teacher. There's high expectation. One, the teacher cannot be using obscene language in front of the student. Am I going right? She says, I proceed. Yeah. The teacher cannot engage in certain acts, inappropriate act, in right. front of the student because the, the, the student learning. Right. At the end of the day, the student is learning from the adult. Excellent. Yeah. And if a student falter or, in, you know, make an error because them going is because the teacher is there to correct the student and guide the student. Because the teacher is entrusted to guide, to talk, to advise. Because you know, a lot of ch- a lot of students just have a lot of domestic problems. They might not have had any breakfast for the morning or what have you. And you know, they they, they come and some of them they might just sleep in the classroom. And it's only when you inquire, maybe because no food in the house. So then the teacher has to take out money from the own pocket. But there is a limit, Barry, as to how far that teacher can go, can go with the student. And must go. I mean to say, the alarm bells are going to ring if a student, a female student, for whatever be the reason, remains back at the school all by herself under the care of a male teacher. Wouldn't that not ring bell? It raises suspicion. Yes. It raises suspicion. Because everybody doesn't leave the school. It raises and the female teachers also in the school yeah. will start to make observation and you will hear the little gossip spreading. Yeah the little gossip yeah. Right. What is more to this gladiator? When you betray the trust of the child at the school, you also betray the trust of the parent. Of course. Because the parent entrusts you to ensure that you being the child guidance officer, while the parent is not around, that you will 
inculcate in that child's mind certain principles, fundamental principles that is moral, moral and also spiritually correct. Moral upbringing. You see, Gladi, it is so fundamental that during my tenure in school, you may have noticed certain things between teacher and female students, but they had to cut it very, very straight because in those days, discipline was of the highest order. And you being a dean of discipline of a school, you would be the last person that anybody, any student, anybody will expect you to put question to a female student or a male student from a female de de dean of discipline. You would be the last persons people would expect to go down that road. When this incident took place with Miss Allen... No, but b b before we go there, let us try to calculate the the uh the correct age of the of both Rowley and Rosalind Allen. Yeah. Let's calculate the age, right? Rowley was born on the 24th of October, 1949. Because, you know, a lot of callers call. And let me say good uh, evening to Jaja. All the way from the America. Jaja, man. Yeah, Jaja, lock on. Let me say good evening to all the folks in downtown Port of Spain. I, look at man, but Barry, I couldn't believe that the gladiator spoke. I'm as well listened to. And, uh, let me take this opportunity <laughs> to also say good evening to King to King Wellington. He, <laughs> he listens every every evening. Yeah. So let me say good evening to all the fans. I told people I'm not going to call name because, you know, when I mention a name, they say, I left out this name and I left out that name. You also up there listening to us? Yeah. Bolt used to be in the square with us. Yeah, well, well he, he, he lock yeah, on, he, he lock he, on. Yeah, he's up there right now. But let's start to deal with it. We're going to deal people, citizens of the Republic. We have a lot of issues that we're going to discuss surrounding the leader of the PNM party, and Roslyn Allen, and also Anika Gams. Daddy, huh? we will, I uh, want us to deal with trust. Yes, we come in with that. Trust. Yes. When we entrust you. Because the question is, my Trust, Barry. Daddy. Because the question How is... How could I trust you? Yes. Again in this country, when you breach the trust that I give you to my girl child. Daddy, how could I? Daddy, let me ask you a question. Three minutes, 23 minutes going up to the hour of uh, 7 o'clock. Yes, Barry. Yeah. Yeah. Rowley was born, and we want to deal with, we want to clear up the, um, the issue of the age because, you know, a lot of people call, they say, gladiator, uh, you didn't give the correct age at all. Son, and a lot of people give different uh, age. They, they, they mention this date, that date, and you know, all this kind of... Mm -hmm. Okay. 1949 was the year Rowley born. And he born in the month of October. If we calculate 20 years, 
starting from 1950. Barry. Yeah, go ahead. It's because we only would have been 20 years in 1969. You check it. Correct as well. Conk, conk your fingers correct, and, 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 and conk your toes. Yes, it's correct. He would have been 20 years in 1969. And with regards to uh, Rosalind Allen, she born in the year 1952. She would have been, if you count 17 years from 1953, she would have been 17 years in 1969. So I only hope that I clear the air on the question of the age. So Rowley was 20 years in 1969 and Rosalind Allen was 17 years in 1969. And we only do that based on the the the, the, the bird paper and the year that they born, what have you, right? But Barry, can one assume that they only get to know each other? When Rosalind was 17 years in 1969? No. That, nah. that assumption would be frivolous and vexatious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Extremely frivolous. Yeah, 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 yeah. Frivolous. Yeah. The thing about it is that... She admitted she that... She was... She admitted the secret was... A, this, this relationship was a secret, eh? Yes. Good. And she was sexually active... That is why it was a secret something. What yes. was the secret? She was sexually she active. active. I mean, to say, at the age of 17 is when she became pregnant. Okay. So, at the age of 16 and also at the age of 15, one can assume that she was already interfered with. She was, I won't use the word interfered, but I will use it more the legal connotation. Yeah, term. She was sexually active. Now, we do not know if she was related to any other person before Rowley had sex with her. Okay. Or Rowley had a relationship with her. Okay. We do not know. But the reality is and the facts are that Rowley, Rowley, Rowley had sex, sex with her. With her. And she was a teenager. And she was a teenager. And the law state at that point in time. She, she and Rowley was older than her. Rowley was an adult. And the law state the that political she leader, The political leader of the PNM party was an adult. At that time, at the material time, was an adult. And a school teacher. Now, at the age of 17, We ain't too sure if she was still a student. We ain't too sure about that because you know some children leave in school early because they feel they are an adult and they're big and bold. Understand? But we had to go by what she said. Barry? Yes. And let's hear what she had to say. What she said. And with the information, we can build on such with the information. Why are you getting that feedback?
Mary, Rosalind Allen knew him since she going to school. She did always like him. And she always liked him. But it was a secret. It was a secret what something. What was the secret? A secret something. something. What was the secret something? Is it that both of them were conscious? Rowley was conscious of the fact that what he was doing was wrong. Totally wrong. He grew up with a Methodist family. And, and he ended up as a Sunday Adventist. Sharon Rowley is a Catholic. Devout Catholic. Devout Catholic. So we're trying to dig deep into this whole thing here. Because the newspaper does not want to dig deep into it at all. No. They don't want to analyze this guy. No. Because this guy claimed to be saying, he claimed to say that his life, clean. his life is an open book. And he's a very, he's a, he's a man of morality and he's a, a man of integrity. Oh, really? That was his, no, he said that. He said oh, really? That. He said that. Okay. The way he offered himself to be the next prime minister of this country. Okay. We'll deal with that. But let, but, 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 let, but let me go deeper. Let me go deeper. Because, you know, we, 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 we try and we try our best, Barry. We are just mere mortals. And we are trying our best. This man, who I call the bareback man, or the bareback leader, he is conscious of the fact that he had sexual intercourse with a teenager a person younger than him a person who he could guide and try to bring up that is just one strange enough he did not marry Rosalind Allen oh, 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 oh. he did not marry Rosalind Allen why he didn't marry Rosalind Allen if we are to place our trust in Rowley. How can we trust this man with this country? How can we trust Rowley to run this country when he was reckless and engaged or committed a judgmental error? An error of judgment because he knows that Rosalind Allen was underage and whether the girl may have given him consent or not we do not know we are fishing and we are trying to analyze because up to now Barry he has not come forward and cleared the air in spite of many calls, in spite of I and all posing questions. The voters outside there, Barry, they want to know the truth about this PNM leader. Who committed an error of judgment. He did commit an error of judgment. So then why does he not apologize for it? He is not the kind of person that would apologize so he's wrong and strong or one. show any remorse. So he's a wrong and strong because one. Because he on the attacking, he attack, he attack, he attack. And he sells himself and marketed himself as a saint as the man who could teach this nation about morality and integrity. Eh? 
in public life. Yes, he he, he marketed himself as a. You understand? He marketed himself. But the citizens, if you could make a judgmental error, commit an error of judgment in entertaining the thought, Barry, mm -hmm. of wanting to have sex with a minor. you did have sex with a teenage girl but at that time the idea of entering into politics was not there because he told Julian Rogers he wanted to be a journalist how can you call upon us citizens forget your past when you committed an error in judgment how can we the citizen trust you to be our next prime minister when you took advantage of the situation because you could have prevented it no, you understand why I'm using I, I that see, word? I see where you're going. I see exactly where you're going. Barry, what I'm saying, Rowley could have prevented this situation that took place. The today. sexual intercourse with Roslyn. With Roslyn Allen, who was a teenager, a young person who ought to have been studying her books, maths, subjects, what have you. Rowley should have guided her in the proper Direction, but Ladi look the result of it. If you listen to the woman speak, you will see that she falls behind in her education. And the result. mere reason, the mere reason that Rosalind Allen could remember the secret something of whom Tom De Canary wants to know about this secret something. One thing I could uh, I can rest assured, Barry. This secret something is where, on a balance of probability, they both knew that if would get out into the community, that they would have been in trouble. An affair was is taking, taking place, place, and a relationship is taking place. That would have been big, big, big trouble. Big bad. Bacchanal. But that is it. That is the reason why Rowley had to leave Tobago and ended up in Trinidad under secrecy. But stop right there. I just asked him. If it is, if it is, Barry, because you know we we are fishing, we don't know, but we are asking question. What we do know, Barry, he had sex with a minor. He have a child with her. And they have a child with her. And he admitted that. But it caused a follow-up question. Did he have sex with other students? Oh, oh. oh it's oh. a question. Oh, oh. Because if there was an error of judgment in the mind, in the psyche of this man who claims to be a man of integrity, a man of morality. The question that arises, what if other girls was involved? No, not not was involved. What if other girls had a liking for him back uh -huh. then? Uh -huh. Listen to us, Lynn, listen to us, Lynn Allen. I always, I always used to 
to like him since I went to school. But that is just, uh, it used to be a secret something. I knew him since I used to go to school. And to tell you the truth, I always, I always used to like him since I went to school. But that is just, uh, it used to be a secret something. Now Barry, she's just only one. Uh -huh. What about other students? Hmm. hmm. What about? Isn't there a possibility that other students could have had a sexual encounter? with Dr. Keith Christopher Rowley back then. Because mm. if a student, because they know it's young children, I mean, we are trying to investigate, we are trying to dig deeper. We, we, we're only posing questions. If it is that this girl, this young girl, admiring Always check the language. Always used to like him, Barry. You know young people and them. You know young people in those days. If they get a kiss from you. That was a big thing. That was a big thing. Yeah boy. Yeah. Woo! In primary school days, you know. Oh yeah. And secondary school, eh? it have young girls in those schools. They're watching this young boy. And I always used to like him since I'm going to school. Mm -hmm. And if by chance, not only the school boy, who, going to, who you're going to school with, but the school teacher. When anytime you see the teacher, you give the teacher a smile. Because I always used to like him. But what if there was a competition for the beer back man? What if there was a competition? When I say a competition, I not see only one person like him. I see him first. Other yes, school yes, girls. Yes. And you know, young girls like to gossip in you know? them. What if? What if? Rosalind Allen might have gotten a kiss because I am not going to accept as logic or as make uh, of something making sense that Rowley only knew Rosalind at the age of 17 and at first first um first I'm what do you call it um, first encounter first encounter he said I like you let me have a baby nah 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 Na 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 <laughs> What do you mean that happened? She became 17 when the sexual intercourse took place and she was impregnated. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. But before she became 17 in September 1969, she was 16 years. And before she became 16 years, she was 15 years. The question is, how many school girls <laughs> Rowley had sexual intercourse with? Gladi? How many school girls? There is a probability that this could have been taken place. That not only wasn't Allen he may have had sex with, but he may have had sex with other school girls. And the reason why I come to the question of the possibility is because from that age he had been making reckless decisions. Decision. And that's why we come back to the subject of trust. 
Rowley have been making reckless decisions at an early stage in life. Because if you, at the age of 20 years, could lust, and I want to use the word lust, after a teenage girl, when you're supposed to be exercising some level of responsibility because of the trust and confidence people may have in you. Because, as I showed you yesterday, I read on a list of school teachers who had sex with students of varied age. Bloody. Notwithstanding what you say in a factual. Yeah. The question I want to No, put, no, no, no. We, 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 the part of I'm having other, I'm having um, sex with other students, we do not know, but we're saying there is a possibility. But the part, the question we I want probing, to We are probing, we are probing. You want the question I want to pro, pro, pose to Dr. Rowdy. What is this with your, one of your daughters who became pregnant for their school teacher? How would you accept that? Good question. How you as a father would have accepted that? Knowing that you entrusted your daughter's care with this teacher. And instead of his seeking the interest of developing the child to be a great human being in life to come, she became pregnant. You breached the trust of the parent and the child. How you as a father, Dr. Rowley, would have accepted that behavior? from this teacher.